Hi everyone, it's me Ola here. You're welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk tourism vocabulary. Uh, I don't myself travel much. If I do, I usually would use a train. It's my favorite type of transportation. But I did my best and tried to think of what phrases you would need while traveling to Ukraine and gathered them in this video. If you still have any any things that you want to know uh, and I haven't covered them, please leave them down below in the comments and I will make part two of this video. Obviously. Obviously. Also, I would like to remind you that now you can support my channel on Patreon. I am greatly thankful to those who do already and um, I'm constantly thinking of what can I share, what extra content I can do for you. And for now, I'm posting there my notes, the written notes for my videos, just in case you don't like to take notes by your own, you can download them there. They are available for every Patreon. And now let us get to the business. How do you travel? Як ви подорожуєте? Як ви подорожуєте? Як ви подорожуєте? It means what type of transportation do you use? How do you travel? The answer would be я подорожую means I travel. And then you say the name of the means of transportation in instrumental case. For instance, я подорожую потягом. I travel by train. Потягом means by train. Літаком – by plane. I travel by plane. Я подорожую літаком. Я подорожую літаком. By car means машиною or автомобілем. Я подорожую машиною. Я подорожую машиною. Я подорожую автобусом. I travel by bus. Автобусом – by bus. Я подорожую автобусом. So, railway station is... Залізничний вокзал. Залізничний вокзал. Railway means залізниця. Залізниця. So, railway station. Залізничний вокзал. Залізничний вокзал. And if you are traveling by a train in Ukraine, you are using Укрзалізниця. Uh, Basically, Ukrainian railway. Укрзалізниця. Українська залізниця. Entrance. Вхід. Вхід. So, entrance to the railway station. Вхід на вокзал. Exit. Вихід. Вихід. Вихід з вокзалу. Вхід на вокзал. Entrance to the train station. Вихід з вокзалу. Exit. From the train station. Luggage. Багаж. 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 If you have uh, a suitcase, валіза. Валіза. Suitcase means валіза. If you have a bag, uh, you would say сумка. Bag, сумка, сумка. If you have a backpack, рюкзак, рюкзак, рюкзак. Bus station, автовокзал, автовокзал, автовокзал. But if there is a bus stop, for instance, Автобусна зупинка. Автобусна зупинка. Автобусна зупинка means bus stop. Also, what is very important, uh, and every uh, bus station or train station has, is this big schedule on the wall, uh, where you can see the arrival time, the departure time of every bus or train that you need. Розклад руху. Розклад руху поїздів. Розклад руху поїздів means the schedule, the train schedule. Розклад руху автобусів, the bus schedule. Розклад руху поїздів, розклад руху автобусів. Arrival time – час прибуття. Час прибуття. Час прибуття. Departure time – час відправлення. Час відправлення. Час відправлення. Both of those you can see either on the schedule, on a розклад руху поїздів or автобусів, or on the ticket. So a ticket means квиток. 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 To book a ticket – забронювати квиток. Забронювати means to book. Квиток. A ticket. Забронювати квиток. 
or let's say you are in a train station or on a bus station and then you need to buy a ticket so you come up to this worker who is selling tickets and you might want to say I need a ticket to you would say many potriben I need kvitok ticket many potriben kvitok to means do many potriben kvitok do and then in genitive case the name of the town or the city that you are traveling to or the village if you're going to the village for instance many potriben kvitok do Kyiva. I need a ticket to Kyiv. Many potriben kvitok do Zhitomera. Um, I need a ticket to Zhitomer. Many uh, potriben kvitok do, uh, let's say, the village Shevchenkova. I don't know if you want to travel there. Many potriben kvitok do Shevchenkovoho. And so on. Sometimes you would need to specify. If you want to specify the date, of course you want to specify the date. You would say, Мені потрібен квиток до Києва на, let's say, 2 листопада, on a 2nd of November. Мені потрібен квиток до Львова, to Львів, on the 15th of January, на 15-те you need to specify the time and you would say I need a ticket to Lviv for instance um, at 3 o'clock I мені потрібен квиток до Львова на третю годину or на п'яту годину or на 4.30 at 4.30 and things like that seat means місце місце so some trains have seats that you can only be sitting there, seats, uh, and it will be called misce. All the buses will have misce because you sit on the bus usually. However, some trains in Ukraine have uh, places where you can lay and sleep when you are traveling during the night. And obviously sitting all the night is not comfortable, so you can lay down and this uh, sort on, on this sort of bench. Uh, and this bench is called polizia. 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 So Polizia is a place where you can lay um, on a train. You can sleep there. Polizia could be upper. Verkhnya Polizia. Verkhnya Polizia. And could be the lower. Nizhnya. Nizhnya. Verkhnya. Nizhnya. Верхня полиця, нижня полиця. So, if you are traveling by train in Ukraine and you aren't sure whether your полиця is upper or lower, I have a trick for you. So, every upper полиця would be even number, basically two, four, six, eight, and so on. And every one that's lower would be an odd number, like one, three, five, seven, um, 9, 11, and so on. This trick is known by those who travel by train a lot, like me. And even some people in Ukraine who are traveling by train still don't know this. And you will know now. Passenger means pasajir. 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 So quite often when you are at the train station or at the bus station, you can hear in the loudspeaker, usually it would be a lady, uh, saying something like, Шановні пасажири. Шановні пасажири means dear passenger and that means that you need to pay attention to what she is saying because uh, probably she is going to give you some important information about your train or the bus that you are waiting for. So platform means платформа. Платформа. So if your uh, train or your uh, bus arrives at uh, fifth uh, platform, she would say до п'ятої платформи, or до шостої платформи, to the sixth platform, or до першої платформи, to the first platform, and so on. Now, when you are waiting for the train, the important piece of information that you need to listen carefully to is нумерація вагонів, the numeration of carriages. Carriage is, вагон is this little... Not so little, but the smaller part that uh, a train consists of. There can be uh, five or six of them. Sometimes there would be long trains like 
35, 36 um, carriages. So why does this numeration matter? Why you need to listen carefully to what the lady in the loudspeaker is saying? It is because in Ukraine, I don't know how it is in the world, probably it's the same, but in Ukraine, you never know when the train is arriving, whether the um, uh, numbers of carriages would begin from the beginning of the train and the first carriage would be in the beginning and the 35th or 30, 30s would be in the end. Or on the contrary, the first carriage would be in the very end of the train. And then would be number two, number four, number three, and so on. And the thirties would be in the beginning of the train. So you usually, if you're waiting for the train, you are you know where to expect it from, whether it's from the east or from the west. But where the numbers would come from, you need to listen in the loudspeaker. So every train station will have a west side of a station and the east side of the station. Usually uh, there would be these little arrows where it says Voxal or the name of the town and then you would see this where is the east, where is the west. So you know which one is uh, eastern. Eastern side means Schidna Storona Voxalu, Schidna Storona Voxalu and Zahidna Storona Voxalu means western side of the train station. So now when you know where is east, where is west. And so now you can listen. Uh, and the lady would say something like Numeratia Vagoni Zahidno Istorone Voxalu. The numeration of the carriages begins from the west of the uh, train station. Or the no numeration from the east of the station. So that you know uh, where will be the uh, carriage number one. Why it's important? Because uh, sometimes the trains would be really, really long with lots of carriages and the stop would last like five minutes or something, especially in the small towns, the trains don't wait much, <laughs> don't wait by a bunch of time, they are in a hurry. So if you are waiting on a wrong side and plus you have baggage and uh, let's say it's winter and it's uncomfortable to run and you only have five minutes, there is a high chance of not getting on the train at all. Of course, you can uh, ask uh, a train worker, a guard of the train, to enter their carriage if it's not your carriage. Let's say uh, yours is number one and it's in the end and you are running and it's number 15 and you will say like, please let me in, mine is number one and yours is 15, please let me in because uh, I will be late for the train. And here all depends on a guard. They can let you in and they cannot. This happened to my friend. She was going home from Ternopil we were studying and she was late. She couldn't run to her carriage. She started to beg the lady who was working on the train to let her in her um, carriage so that she could move to hers while the train was moving already and she refused. So she couldn't travel that day and had to wait for the next day and buy another ticket. Okay, now some... Uh, more random words that you might want to know. Window is Vikno. Vikno. So if you are traveling on the bus, let's say, and it's hot, you can ask somebody or somebody can ask you to open the window. Vitkrite Vikno Budlaska. Vitkrite Vikno Budlaska. Or close the window because it's cold, for instance. Zakrite Vikno Budlaska. Zakrite Vikno Budlaska. Or Zakrite Budlaska Vikno. The word order doesn't really matter as much as it matters in English, in Ukrainian. The door means Dveri. Dveri. The door on the bus is also Dveri, just like the door in the room. So sometimes if you are traveling in the back of the bus and you need to get out because it's your station and the bus is full, it's uncomfortable for you to go to the front and usually, automatically, the driver would open only the front door. So you need to ask a driver loudly when it comes, when your station is near, that uh, they should open the back door for you. Vitkrite budlaska zadni dveri. That's a very standard phrase. Vitkrite budlaska zadni dveri. So you can get out of the bus. Also, a situation when you are sitting next to somebody can happen and you know that your stop, your bus stop is next and you need to get out. But you don't know whether the person you are traveling with uh, 
that sits near you, whether they go out as well or they don't. So uh, you would ask, Ви не виходите на наступній зупинці? Ви не виходите на наступній зупинці? Don't you get out on the next stop? Ви не виходите на наступній зупинці? And then the person can tell you, yes, I do. Так, виходжу. And then you do nothing and you both are waiting. Or, ні, не виходжу, проходьте. Uh, no, I don't get out. Please move. So they will step back and let you get out of the bus. Where do I put my baggage? Куди покласти багаж? Куди покласти багаж? Куди покласти багаж? Or help me please. For instance, you have a, a very heavy suitcase. You can get it on the bus or something. Допоможіть мені, будь ласка. Well, that's a very universal phrase. That means help me please. As you can apply in different situations. Допоможіть мені, будь ласка. Допоможіть мені, будь ласка. Or you see somebody else struggling with a bag and you want to offer help, you would ask, Вам допомогти? Вам допомогти? Means, do I help you? Do you need me to help you? Do you need help? Вам допомогти? Also, while traveling, especially while walking or driving, you might want to ask for directions, especially when you are in a place for the first time. So, when asking for direction, you would usually begin with перепрошую. Excuse me. Перепрошую. Перепрошую. Would you tell me? Не підкажете? Не підкажете? Excuse me? Would you tell me? Перепрошую. Не підкажете? Uh, if you are walking, then you will ask, як дійти до? How do I get to? So, excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до аптеки? Uh, excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to the pharmacy? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до вулиці Шевченка? Oh, where is Шевченко Street? Де вулиця Шевченка? Перепрошую, не підкажете, де вулиця Шевченка? Or, how do I get to, the, to Шевченко Street? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до вулиці Шевченка? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до вокзалу? Excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to the train station? Or, uh, перепрошую, не підкажете, де вокзал? Um, excuse me, won't you tell me where the train station is? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до Майдану Незалежності? Excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to the Independence Square? The one that's in Kyiv. If you are driving, you would say the same thing, but instead of дійти, to walk, you would use to drive, доїхати, доїхати. So, перепрошую, не підкажете, як доїхати до. Excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to? Also, after to, you would use the name of a place that you need to get to in genitive case. До вокзалу, до лікарні, до театру. Um, до Майдану Незалежності, до Києва. So, excuse me, uh, won't you tell me how do I get to Kyiv? Uh, перепрошую, не підкажете, як доїхати до Києва? Не підкажете, як доїхати до Житомира? How do I get to Житомир? Перепрошую, не підкажете, як дійти до аптеки? Excuse me, won't you tell me how do I get to the pharmacy? Uh, перепрошую, не підкажете, де найближча автобусна зупинка? Excuse me, won't you tell me where uh, is the nearest... Um, bus station, and so on. So if you're asking how do I get to, or how do I drive to, як дійти до, then you use genitive case uh, for the name of the place that you need to get to. But if you are asking where something is, не підкажете де, вокзал, де аптека, де майдан незалежності, excuse me, you would use nominative case. So now that you asked for directions, you need to listen to what the person is telling you and understand what they say. So when giving you directions, a person can say something like поверніть, turn to. Поверніть наліво means turn to the left. Наліво to the left, направо to the right, and go straight, ідіть прямо means uh, go straight. So, наліво, to the left, направо, to the right, and go straight, прямо. Also, when you are driving, usually, uh, you might want to know how to say to the east or to the west, and things like that. Схід means east, схід, схід. West means 
Zahid, 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 so to the west, na Zahid, uh, to the east, na Zahid. North means Pivnic, Pivnic, so to the north, na Pivnic. And Pivden means south, Pivden, Pivden, and to the south means na Pivden. That's all I prepared for this video. Looking forward for your comments. Uh, did you find it useful? Did you not? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn Ukrainian together. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully, very soon. Bye!